Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For this video, I asked you yesterday what should I do next and displacement one. Make sure to keep an eye on the community tab as I'll post more often there. Now, we need to start by going to our project settings. I'll open my Unreal Engine folder with uh, my projects and open my project and then in the config, double click on default engine and this will pop up and um, if you scroll down you're gonna see here script slash engine dot render settings and here you're gonna want to add these two I'm gonna put them in the description so you can just uh, copy and paste them and after you've done that um, I suggest you restart the engine if it's already open and uh, let's begin so I'll begin by uh, creating, going to the modeling tab and uh, creating, for example, a rectangle. I saw that with um, with the meshes that are, are like a box or something that is enclosed, the edges will um, will not connect, so it will not look very great. So I'm just gonna create a plane. So I suggest you use this on like a wall or something flat wall for example or a floor yeah I hope you know what I mean so now what we need to do is uh, make this nanite so otherwise this won't work okay so double click on the static mesh and then enable nanite and uh, I'll click on preserve area as well and click on save forgot to apply changes and then click on save and the great thing about this is uh, we don't need to subdivide this mesh so now I'm gonna right click and uh, create a material and uh, let's say uh, ground and I'm gonna double click to open the editor and you can see that now we have the displacement uh, node so in the content browser I'll uh, drag and drop um, oh no let's actually use this wood forget it so I'm gonna use uh, these maps that I'm just gonna drag and drop in my content folder and I'll select them and drag and drop them into my editor just plug the base color to the color roughness to roughness I'll also add a, a constant for the specular and I'll say it uh, 0.3 for example plug in the normal map and the ambient occlusion and for the displacement we need to drag a multiply node and plug it in right there and I'll also create a constant and uh, plug into the B slot you can also just uh, the values from here but I want to convert this to a parameter and I'll say strength and maybe also the specular so we can see what we're working with and then uh, no other settings needs to be done so I'm just gonna click on apply and I'm just gonna apply it to my ground to my asset I mean it's gonna take a while until the shaders are building up but um, trust me it's worth it and if you also want to adjust uh, things like the scaling and that sort of thing you can right click and add a texture coordinate um, then you can see here again a multiply node and from here you're just gonna plug it into the UVs uh, let's do that why not and again uh, a constant for the values now this I'm gonna convert it to parameter and I'll call it tiling and hit on apply well this is not a release it's kind of more of an experimental feature so that's why you see those glitches happening and you're gonna see them uh, a lot oh yeah what I forgot is right click on the material and create a material instance and uh, then apply it we can see that the tiling is not the greatest zero is way too low maybe we leave it on one okay the specular let me see it's 
we don't want to make this uh, pretty shiny so I'm just gonna say dot one and uh, down here you'll find the displacement scaling options now this I recommend you leave the center to zero and the magnitude to one something like that is not some not a big difference but uh, still and now we need to enable the strength and check the magic I'll probably leave it at one as it is you can see those glitches but they disappear at some point I think it's take some time to build the shaders or something but check this out how is this real-time graphics am I the only one who's amazed by this and if you go to the lit mode and then a visualization and triangles you're gonna see that it's not subdivided just uh, displacing the I'm not sure I mean I don't really understand how this works but you can see for yourself that it's, it's pretty amazing and the great thing about this is that it works on landscapes as well so that's pretty awesome I'm gonna show you right now I'm just gonna delete this and I made a quick landscape oh, which is pretty huge and I'm gonna create uh, a new folder let's call it landscape and here we're gonna create a material also landscape so now if we open the material editor I'm just gonna make this uh, bigger go into the content folder drag and drop all the materials here not gonna use that we need to add the uh, make material attributes node so that we can uh, duplicate it and uh, work with two textures two materials actually we're gonna check this boss for use material attributes just make sure you don't select anything and this will pop up and another thing that we need is um, landscape layer blend and uh, this is gonna work with how many materials you want to blend together so um, I have only two so I'm gonna click on plus and again and I'm just gonna say here uh, rock for my first layer and uh, ground leaves whatever for my second layer you can name them however you want and uh, actually they're inverted but it's no problem and uh, I'm gonna plug them into the materials themselves and this one into the material attributes node so now let's set up the materials but yeah it looks pretty pretty nasty right now but uh, it's not that big of a deal it's just two materials with uh, these extra nodes it's not that uh, complicated and what we need to do is select probably would be it would have been better to do this before but make sure to select the textures and uh, in the sampler source change it to shared wrap and also do that with uh, the other ones okay hit apply and wait three years for the shaders to compile I'm gonna close this oh, actually it wasn't that hard <laughs> And now I'm gonna click right click on the material and create a material instance and I'm gonna select my landscape and if I go down I'm gonna see here landscape material and I'm just gonna drag and drop it there and now you can see that the layer is uh, black ish so how do we paint it now we go into the landscape mode paint tab and uh, here you're gonna see that we have rock and leaves it uh, recognize those I'm gonna click on this plus button normal to save this and you can see that it's already uh, working again with the second material and you do that with uh, each one of them that you have we're gonna wait a bit for the shaders and um, yeah one thing that I forgot is you need to select the landscape and uh, enable nanite on it and uh, rebuild that data 
if you haven't done that before, otherwise it won't work, because as I said before, this works with nanite meshes only, so obviously if landscape is nanite, it will work. I'm not sure if I would do this with a huge uh, landscape. I mean, if you have uh, 10, 40, 90s, go for it, but <laughs> I'm not risking it, so I'm doing it with a smaller uh, landscape landscape and uh, let me open the instance material okay so we're gonna say uh, one and again wait 16 years okay and as you can see the displacement is working but it's way too aggressive like what is this i need to go back to my landscape material and um, set the strength from there you can also make these parameters maybe i'll do that but I feel like the tiling is way too large. And as you can already see, the nanite is working, the landscape uh, displacement. But yeah, those artifacts, um, I don't know, no idea how to get rid of that. It worked and uh, even it, it even blends with the rock material, if you can see. Depending on the brush you're working with. So that was it guys, um, I hope you liked this tutorial and um, if you did make sure to subscribe and like for more and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day, goodbye.